Hi, I'm Tommy Brennan, Three Chap District Supervisor and the 2020 Chairman of the Board for Henrico County. And I'm Dan Schmidt, the 2020 Vice Chairman of the Henrico County Board of Supervisors, and I represent the Brooklyn District. We're doing a series, the first series, of talks, if you will, uh, to get some information out to you, the citizen. You'll never see us uh, with a TV crew going around doing, doing photo ops. Uh, we, we've been trying to figure out how we can most effectively get the message of different, different topics that are very, very important to our community as a whole uh, right now. Um, we'll also be sending out a mailer uh, that will go to every household in Henrico County with some numbers, some tips, and some, some basic information. Uh, this is one means that we thought would be a good way to start. Uh, my vice chair and myself uh, get to go first, and then we will have uh, the other board members also doing segments in everything from, e from the budget to the economy to uh, public safety mm -hmm. and so forth. Um, so, Dan? Yeah, look, as the chairman just mentioned, it's important to us um, that we open up every possible line of communication with our constituents. We may be on the phone receiving phone calls and emails and text messages from our constituents, um, but it's important in, the, in these types of settings that we open up every possible line of communication. So throughout these segments, you'll hear us talk about different areas of, the, of your government that are, that are still, that's still at work, and you'll hear about ways that you can communicate. Uh, with the government and, and, and that Henrico County can communicate back with you. Uh, you'll see phone numbers popping up on your screen with regard to our call centers and our hotlines that are open, uh, websites that are available for you to gather information, and through segments like this that we're able to have conversations um, to make sure that we're keeping our constituents fully informed. One of the things we wanted to start with tonight were frequently asked questions that we're seeing through our call centers already. One of, them, uh, one, one of them is a popular one, and, and it's come up a few times, is will my trash continue to be collected? And Mr. Chairman, do you know if they're still picking up trash on a regular schedule? We absolutely are picking up trash on a regular schedule. There are certain, certain aspects of, of county business, uh, because Henrico County is the business. We're in the business of providing service, providing service to you, our constituents. So there are certain aspects of the county that will always, always be operating. One is, one is trash pickup. A couple other ones that have come up with regard to building permits. Uh, it's important for the county to continue to operate and continue to serve you, our, our constituents. And with regard to building permits, uh, we know that sometimes work goes on for you and goes on for our businesses as well. And uh, I will tell you that our business uh, permit department is still accepting them at drop stations at the administrative, administrative offices and they will call or email you to follow up with next steps. They're not accepting payments at those job stations, but they will call and email you uh, for the next steps. Another one is courts. Both of our courts are operating, both circuit and district, in limited fashion. Um, you can go and contact those. Um, we'll put those email addresses up there, but for circuit, it's circuitjudges at henrico.us, and for the district court, it's henricogd at virginiacourts.gov, and you can get more information on those. Mr. Chairman, how about parks and recreational opportunities? Parks, this is, this is one that, that we had hoped that we could do as long as possible. Uh, we believe absolutely every citizen and, and resident of Henrico County should be out in the fresh air and, and with their families. I live right next to Poca, uh, Pocahontas Middle School, and it's amazing the day, every day there are families running around the track and, and, and keeping their distance from other people, but as family units working out and being outside. Uh, the sad part of, of, but a much needed and necessary measure that the governor just passed was uh, our parks. Our parks that have um, people that will be close to them, such as our dog parks, um, our playgrounds, our uh, pavilions, are um, uh, the other the other areas of parks that will have people congregate have have been shut down per governor's orders. So these series of segments of conversations that we're that we're going to have and we're going to make available to you all are, are all in an effort to try to keep you as informed as we can. And we want you to know that that then Rockland County is still at work for you, um, albeit somewhat remotely. Um, and albeit a little bit socially distanced at times, but we want you to know that Henrico County is still, is still at work for you, and that absolutely includes our public safety folks. 
our firefighters and police officers and our, our, our sheriff's department, they're out there working hard every day, putting themselves on the front lines uh, for all of us. So we send them our thanks um, and we, 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 we absolutely commit to supporting them in their efforts as, 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 as much as we can. And Dan, there's one more that <clears throat> we should bring up. Uh, it, it's gonna probably hit in the next day or so. Um, everyone in Henrico County, thank you. Thank you for cleaning up your yards and, and trimming the bushes and, and doing yard work and cleaning out those garages with uh, being at home and, and being quarantined. Um, the issue that it's creating for your county is uh, uh, an overabundance of people arriving at, at our landfills, both in the east and in the west. And we, per the governor's regulations and rules, we're going to have to limit how many people come into the landfill. We broke an all-time record this past Saturday with 3,000 people dropping off both brush and, and trash. Uh, we're going to recommend that you not everyone come in on a Saturday to, to do that uh, if it's possible to come during the week, if it's possible to come during midday during the week uh, and space it out, uh, you'll be able to be a lot more efficient and uh, get through uh, that process of, of dropping off brush and trash uh, a lot quicker because uh, there was lines all the way out to the main roads uh, with, with 3,000 people, we were, we were actually a little overwhelmed. So uh, with, with, the new, with the new regulations, we will be limiting how many people can come into the landfill. And it's, so this is very important for you to know so you don't uh, become frustrated with sitting and uh, waiting. And behind the scenes, we're still working for you as well. You know, our, our budget season is upon us. And uh, we've, our, 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 my, our chairman, myself, and our, our colleagues on the board are committed to reviewing the financial data on a 30-day basis. Uh, I've already got a meeting on my books with you and the county manager and our finance department uh, in the coming weeks, actually next week. And, um, and we'll continue to make those decisions and, and we'll stay uh, as nimble as we can to make sure that we're serving you, uh, the residents of Henrico County, on an everyday 24-7 basis. So we appreciate your time here today. And please keep in mind that this COVID-19 epidemic is, is like a hurricane that's coming our way. Uh, the, it's only the outer bands have gotten to Henrico County so far, and uh, we're expecting uh, a lot more and uh, a lot more stress on our community. So please stay safe, remember the, the, the rules. Wash your hands, keep yourself socially distant, and follow the guidelines of the CDC. And um, what you can do to help is follow Henrico County's Twitter, Facebook, Instagram pages. Uh, go to uh, our website, henrico.us backslash news, and make sure you're keeping yourself informed on what's going on in the county. Most important, please, please keep yourself and your family safe. Thank you. Thank you.